OK, so let's say I wanted to find a vector of length 10 in the direction of a equals 2i minus 7j. OK, so this brings about an idea of unit vectors. So a unit vector and i and j are both examples of unit vectors. Unit vectors have magnitude or length equal to 1. OK, now this vector here, a, doesn't have length 1. OK, so what I can do is I can first of all, let's have a look at the length that it does actually have. So that would be the square root of 2 squared plus minus 7 squared. Square rooted. So we've got 49 plus 4, so 53 square rooted. OK, so that's the length of A. So what I could do is I could find a vector that is parallel to A that is of unitary length, that is of length 1. And what I could call that is a hat. So what I could do is I could say, well, it's got to be parallel to that vector. So it would need to be some multiple of a. Now, if I divided a by the square root of 53, OK, what would happen is that I would now have the vector 2 over root 53i take away 7 over root 53j. Now, if I wanted to find the length of that vector, well, it would be this squared, so uh, 4 over 53 plus this squared, so 49 over 53, square rooted. So that would just be 53 over 53 square rooted. So square root of 1, which is 1. So this definitely has unitary length. And it is definitely parallel to A. So it is a, a vector that has length 1 going in the direction of A. Brilliant. However, that doesn't solve my problem because the question actually asked me to find a vector of length 10. But once I've found the length of the unit vector, the vector that I'm looking for, let's call it uh, vector b, is 10 lots of the unit vector. So the unit vector tells me how to get uh, in the direction of a, but only of unitary length. OK, so it's like having one pen, but wanting now to do 10 lots of that. So I could just multiply my vector by 10. And then I get a vector that is of length 10, but is still parallel to A. like so. OK, so in general, if you want to find a unit vector of the vector A, then it is 1 over the length of A times the vector A. So that will give you a vector of length 1, and then you can multiply by whatever you need to solve the problem.